Oh, it's been um, quite a week. Thank you for joining me. It's Darcy Loma. And for those of you who have been on Facebook this week know that my article came out in Brava magazine where uh, for the first time I shared publicly about what happened with the arrest of my husband um, the day before our 10-year wedding anniversary. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what was crazy is that it was five days before John was arrested that uh, my team and I were in my office um, working and putting all these post-its up and flip charts and that after years of intense research on the obstacles, what gets in the way of, get, of, of being high performing? What did I see over and over and over again after 10,000 hours of coaching and consulting clients? Um, Thoughtfully Fit officially came to life. It was a Saturday. We worked all day. Thursday was when everything came tumbling down in my life with one phone call. And what was crazy is that I had this platform, this framework to help me in my darkest days and and I needed it because my attorney that I hired I've realized I, I needed a, an attorney um, I had no idea how to how to navigate what had happened and what was happening so fast said you can't talk to anybody about anything right now at this point we don't even know if you're a suspect or what's going on and so I had to turn within and to use my model to help me really coach myself through this and I'll tell you what <laughs> my initial reactions and defaults uh, in the moment as the pace was happening so fast were, were knee-jerk were, were, were I was angry I was defensive um, I was anything but thoughtful when I was talking to the detective after they took every last computer <laughs> in the search warrant my things from my business um, I had to pause <laughs> and think about what was needed in that moment and then act from that place. And so Thoughtfully Fit is all about how to be thoughtful, intentional for yourself and, and, and mindful and then also considerate with others. And how you do that is you always go back to building your core, which is to pause, think, and then act. And in those days and weeks and months and years after John's arrest, I had varying degrees of thoughtfulness in how I was behaving. Everything from wanting to scream and, and shut down and get defensive when, when I, I, had, I had people asking me in, 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 in public places, I was at a dance tournament, dance recital with my daughter, and somebody said, did you have anything to do with this? Did you know about this? And my daughter was sitting right next to me. And what I wanted to do is be like, what? First of all, no. Second of all, how, how can you be asking me this when my nine-year-old daughter is sitting right next to me? And instead, it took all my energy to be thoughtful, to pause in the moment, to think, you know what, this person is scared. This person is out of their element. They have no idea. They're shocked, just as shocked as I am. They don't know the impact of these questions. They're doing the best they can, just like I am. And so I would work really hard to act then in a thoughtful way. Say, no, I had no idea. I, I didn't have anything to do with this. And every step of the way, Thoughtfully Fit, this model helped me. And so today we're talking about Building your core. How can you, when you feel blindsided, when you feel like there's adversity, how can you stop your autopilot knee-jerk reaction and instead pause and think about what's needed? Ask yourself some questions and show up consciously and then act from that place more thoughtfully. Thoughtfully Fit has six practices. Three are internal and three are external. They, and, and, and they align with the six themes that I found that are the, the hurdles. Of what gets in the way of, with my clients over and over again of them being successful and having the life they love. And I've created a three-part video series. For those of you who read the article, 
or maybe you saw the NBC 15 news story and you want to go deeper, you want to understand this model, I'm going to put the link below. I've got uh, three videos that are free that, that if you sign up, they'll, they'll come to you um, in your email. One is about stillness and how to quiet the mind. The second is around flexibility and stretching to accept others just as they are. And the third was around endurance and how do you overcome obstacles. And when you sign up, um, you'll get those three videos, one each day, and then you'll also be put on my, my newsletter list. I send out an article every Wednesday that talks about case studies and research and fabulous failures and hopefully some, some tangible workouts that you can do to become thoughtfully fit. So I just want to say thank you for being on this journey with me. Whether you knew about this story or you didn't know, I'm imagining you've had some obstacles in your life, some adversity, maybe some things you'd also be mortified if they were displayed across the nightly news. And I just wanna say, it's okay. <laughs> And wherever you're at on your journey, you can get through it. And you can be thoughtfully fit. And you can find compassion and forgiveness and have the courage to state your truth and to set healthy boundaries so that you can really thrive in your life. So thanks for joining me every Thursday. I'll be back next week for my Thoughtfully Fit Thursdays. Let's do this. Let's keep on this journey together. Let me know how I can support you. And I'll tell you what, the support you have been showing me is incredible. Thank you.